We're back, people, and today we're gonna film on Justin Bethel, Miami Dolphins, nickel in this game. He started at the nickel, he was bitten their dime guy through the first two games, and then they benched Eli Apple in the third. Kohu moved to the outside, they moved Bethel down into the slot, and he's played pretty well in his limited reps, you know, in the first two games, and then in this game, played solid again. He's been active versus the run, coming on the blitz, he's made big time plays getting involved you know he's an older vet guy 33 years old always been known for special teams but he seems to you know coming into his own coming to the dolphins he'll always be that special teams guy but nice to see him sort of take this role on and will definitely play a big role while you know cam smith is developing jalen ramsey is coming back from his injury so it's nice to you know have a guy that they trust back there who's reliable has a lot of experience this rep right here here just matched up on number two in the slot who's jerry judy and you can just he just you can just tell he understands he's anticipating he has a good feel for this route because he's showing some good footwork staying square some good bend and he's already starting to open up his hips reading the, you know the body language of the wide receiver you can tell he clearly understands what's coming and then he just opens up sticks right on top of it the receiver even stops his route because he sees just how Bethel plays it that he pretty much has no chance just based on his positioning and that's how you win a lot of these reps just leverage positioning is really everything and overall you know it's nice to see Bethel succeeding you know a lot of the because he didn't have he's always been a, he's like a three-time pro bowler or something like that um in special teams like he's always been that guy so him getting an opportunity to play for the defense you know it's pretty surprising but he's played well and when you're the nickel, you're going to be the most involved DB in a lot of run concepts. And they try to do the draw here on 2nd and 14. And look at him get down and close. Him and Van Ginkle helping, you know, create this tackle for loss. Because, you know, it's a 2nd and 14. They're trying to catch the defense off guard here. Hit that draw. He sees it. Closes fast. He has some good speed. His play speed is really nice. He's always flying around the field. That's what he was known for on special teams. So you can definitely count on him being involved in tackles because this is where he, what basically what he does when he's a gunner on you know punt and things like that throughout his career. Definitely can trust him in these situations. And even if he has to go back to dime when they start put, putting some other players in, maybe Ramsey gets healthier. They want to try Cam Smith out wide, things like that. He's very trustworthy, and Dolphins run dime a decent amount. He still played like 20-ish snaps through the first two weeks. You, that's still a role on this team no matter what, but now into this nickel role, clearly the team has some faith in him. Justin Bethel here. Nothing too crazy, but just passing this off, seeing the drag, and closing on it, because the other drag on the mesh point was wide open, so clearly there was a miscommunication at the bottom of the screen. Dolphins basically bracketing here at the top. You can see Judy's on the outside, but comes underneath their stacked position. They were getting the Dolphins with this all game, but Bethel is able to recognize that, have Sutland work up vertically, and then Co take it. So they do a good job passing this off and playing it how you're supposed to. But at the bottom, Holland carries the number two when he probably should have passed it off and gone with 19. But he and also has the speed to cut this off because a lot of times when you're playing from this depth right here and they run the drag underneath you can easily lose that foot race to the opposite side even if you get picked also but he does a good job takes a good angle and would have uh basically had this route dead for right where he caught it uh, wouldn't have gained anything so pretty nice route uh rep there from justin bethel dolphins ran a lot of cover three they ran a decent amount of like cover three fangio runs cover nine too which is just basically the same thing slight different variations but a lot of times you know, they will run, you know, their quarters, but he's going to be down in this nickel. He's going to play a lot as an underneath zone defender, whether he's in the flat, he's a strong hook. Nickel is very important. He's got to match the number two. Here, he just doesn't want to get out leveraged to the flat. When you're in this situation, they're three by one. You don't want anyone to out leverage you to the flat. You're kind of reading the number three, where they're going here. See, number three, everyone else takes those inside releases. You pass that off. Number three works up vertically, so he wants to gain some depth, but then he sees the running back coming out of the backfield as like the number four. He's able to close, make this tackle, which was huge because he ends up making a huge play to end this drive. This was like the one right before the half to close it out where they held him to a field goal. So him making this tackle ends up being pretty huge because he makes another big play like right after this. And they go man at the goal line and they just try to throw this screen. I don't know why. Verse cover one. This is their go-to here. It doesn't make any sense. Bethel just... From his alignment, he's reading man. He sees Judy go back like this. He's just going to close instantly. Like the tight end, they have no chance to get out here to block him if he just makes any sort of reaction play. And he's a good tackler. He's a special teams guy. This is where his strength comes in. This is the stuff he's used to doing. He'll definitely get involved. Like this is Kohu's biggest strength too. Like the plays versus the screens, the plays versus the run. So him going to the outside, you lose a little bit of value there. But bringing in Bethel, that's also one of his biggest strengths and something he's used uh definitely used to and then kohu is definitely better than eli apple on the outside so they seem to have gotten better in the secondary with this new look 
I still think Koh is a better nickel overall than he is on the outside, but it's definitely their best option on the outside right now. But once they get like Ramsey, Needham, Cam Smith gets developed, uh, and they trust him more and more, he becomes progressing. They're going to have a lot of bodies back there, and you never know who's going to, you know, show up and play for this team. But Justin Bethel doing a good job early on to take this role. Involved in the run fit again, this time, you know, being more involved in the box, he was a lot, had a lot more depth, was out to the outside on the receiver, but this time he's just down in the box. Basically over the tight end, he reads run, comes down and fills. He's the force defender, playing as like an overhang type. This is just good, sound defense. Just reading this run concept, sees this guy pushing around here, pulling, and he's just drops his shoulder, right shoulder into him. This is exactly where you want to be. Perfect positioning. And then he stays on the outside, sees he's about to bounce it, and he has the speed, lateral quickness to get out there and not allow it to happen. Great run defense. Got to have this from your nickel. You're a part of the run fits a lot. The safeties too. Outside corner, you're not really a part of the run fits. Um, but as that nickel, you got to be involved. Dime, he's just kind of that perfect guy for this position, for what they need right now. So we'd like to see that Jessel Bethel stepping up. It's one that you might not expect it, but he did do a decent job in his slight role last year when he had to play. So... Definitely um, happy that he's a part of this team. He gives them a nice little veter veteran presence in the defensive backfield. Bethel had the big initial tackle at the end of this game covering Mike Gesicki because he had to match him here, and he got put in a pretty difficult spot. He creates a little bit of separation. Ball slightly thrown away, and he's the one who dragged Gesicki away. You know, that's a tight end. I know Gesicki, Dolphins fans know Gesicki very well, so it's, you know, nothing too crazy that he dragged him away. He doesn't have the best play strength. But you can just tell from their stack position, they're bracketing this. They're passing this off. Once this guy works up vertically enough here, he has that um, Kohu takes him, and he's going to take Gaseki because he's going to be the last one out. And uh, he does a good job, even from his inside leverage, to at least match it enough. Ball's thrown away, and he's able to fight for this. He made two of the biggest plays in this game. He had the play to close it out here versus the Patriots, and then I'll show you the next one versus the Chargers. Last play that we're going to break down here for Justin Bethel. They brought him on this same exact blitz twice in this final drive. The first time he got the hit on the quarterback and they had to sort of throw it away. And he also gets the sack here with Phillips to close it out, both getting half a sack. Just perfectly timed and he disguises it. Coming out here, he's the dime guy lining up head over Keenan, looking like he's going to show man. Look how they slide everything over here. Sealer to this side, Wilkins, Baker, Phillips, who's off the screen. They only have Chubb to this side, so they're going to slide to the right here. 77 thinks, oh, only Chubb is over here going to come. So he slides to the right to help to get, you know, four guys to this side on five. But he doesn't know Bethel's coming, so it was a perfectly schemed up play. And he's definitely comfortable as a blitzer. It's just like being, almost like being a gunner on special teams. Those things definitely translate pretty well. When you know, when you see a DB that's a successful blitzer, they're always usually end up being a good special teams player. And Bethel is known for his special teams prowess. Nice to see him making an impact this late in his career. Always like these types of stories. Definitely didn't expect it, but he was that dime guy right away. And then after two weeks, earned the nickel roll. They clearly felt comfortable putting him down in the nickel while Kohu slid to the outside. And it looked pretty solid for the first week. They have a much tougher matchup in the next one versus the Bills. Should be a good game on both sides of the ball. I'll probably do a Bills breakdown on Saturday, like focusing on the Bills offense to see... Um, or the Bills defense to see how they'll match up versus the Dolphins offense because that's kind of the story, like one of the best defenses versus one of the best offenses. And uh, it should be pretty fun because I think the Dolphins can expose the defense of the Bills, even though the Bills have been playing really good. I just think they haven't faced anything close to the Dolphins offense. And after going through and looking at it, um, there's definitely some holes that can be attacked for sure. Um, but yeah, Justin Bethel looking good. Definitely enjoyed watching his film, rooting for him. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, don't forget to